maybe. Try it ready. Prelude. Okay, got it. Can you just leave the tape in here? Wrong. Wrong. Ah! No mic yet. Oh my gosh, I didn't check my hair before. Be sure you can see the sound, right? So I'll just run through. Oh, you, you do. What? They do hear us talking. You can? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I did. I turned it on. We're so. All right. We've got our <laughs> stuff together. Do we have, we got an audio. There we go. Welcome to, not the screen. You gotta move over. <laughs> Welcome. July 15th, 2020. 2020. Tax day in the U.S. of A. We put the strategically placed the headphones to get rid of the shine. The, the shine of the bald head. <laughs> That's right. I got the whole rev hat if I need it. There you All go. Right. <laughs> so, welcome to the Funky Frets TV, and for all the news that is uh, Funky Frets, ukulele, local You're community. You're in the right spot, yes. Yep. Half hour of uh, mayhem. Special guest, joke, trivia. Wait, no special guests this week. No special guests, no. <laughs> special guest announcement. Yes, special we guest will play, announcement. We will be playing some music and some news from... Uh, a, a, what, a special guest. No, move over. Spot. You're, you're behind the logo. Okay, there we go. Hello. <laughs> we, we have summer travel tips. Let's jump to the main. Yeah, there we go. That's so let's get enough. started. You want to hit us off? You got the trivia this week. I do have the trivia this week. Ready. What month and year did the Portuguese Portuguese, Portuguese. sailing ship, the Raven Skag, arrive in Honolulu, Hawaii? From Madeira, Portugal, carrying migrant workers and the future ukulele build, builders. What so year what and month? year and month? We, people always ask the name of the ship, but I just gave it to you. So oh, year hey, and month. William Tone uh, Drum, we are ordering those just yes, for you. Yes, we just got a uh, printout today of uh, some uh, mahi uh, specials, and we'll get some tone drums. What's that? <laughs> I said May two thousand seven. Where? <laughs> For his guess. Uh, I think that might be a little off there. No, William, didn't two thousand. No, William guessed 2007 May. Oh, uh, yeah, May 2007. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Oh, Our man. special, should we announce the guest or do, go on? We could do that under Youth News. Yeah, we have Youth News coming up here we soon. We have TJ. We need our joke Where's of our the joke day. Point? TJ. TJ. Our jokester is late. So, but welcome to World Headquarters of Funky Freds, Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Our store is open, not getting as many customers because of the a virus, things like that. But here comes TJ with the joke of the day. Yeah. There you Say go. Say hi, TJ. Say hi. hi. What is it? You forget your joke? I know. It's not funny. What did the drummer name his twins? Twin girls. Twin girls. What, what does the drummer? A one, a two. And a one and a two. <laughs> oh, doom! I gotta get my drum sound in. I have the drum sound. Yeah, jeez. Ay, ay, ay. Up next, Kirk, we got you for your. Uh... Oh, let's do a little mini lesson, right? Yes. So we got lesson. a little mini lesson. Did we forget to introduce ourselves again? Did Kurt? you do that? No, we didn't introduce ourselves. We're waiting till the end. If it's any good, we'll introduce ourselves. If it's not, <laughs> we'll change our names. My name is Bob Jones. How are you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> so Kurt Scheller, I'm his daughter Kelly Thompson, two yep. of the three owners of Funky Frats. Yep. With and the third being three his generations third, of our grandkids. My mother. Yep. yep. So we are the crew, the Funky Frets crew. So here we go. There's a rhythm pattern up on the screen. Approaching uh, improvisation, a lot of times your fingers is what can't keep up with your inner ear and mind. So you can actually take, I'm going to stand up for this one. So you can see my ukulele. So there's that rhythmic pattern there. We can count it like this. It's a quarter note followed by a bunch of eighth notes. So I'll just play maybe string, uh, your C string. So one and two and three and four and so one and two and I just did a monotone. Now I'm going to run the C major scale. Just randomly run it. A good exercise to get your fingers working is just take continuous eighth notes. So let me turn off one of these uh, images, because this is actually a famous strum too. The uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Famous strum. Uh, there's four famous strums. That's the second of them. There is probably the most famous one. So one and two and three and four and. So get you Ready? Now, when you're playing these, they won't sound that good unless you have a backing track or somebody to play a C chord for you. Strum it, just whatever you want. So. Lots of rhythmic patterns. These came from my uh, modular phonetic rhythm patterns from uh, Chuck Andrews, who I studied these with. And there is, with ties and without, 72 possible pairs. And you can add in quarter notes like. Keep you busy. Go ahead. Nice. Just play. So I'm just thinking rhythm, not really thinking the notes other than to stick with the major scale. And any scale you want. And Dizzy Gillespie, famous jazz trumpeter with the up pointed trumpet, says said he thought in rhythms and just oh. filled the notes in. So hey, like, we got Lori watching. Hey, Lori. Alright, so here we go. A quick little mini lesson. You can start with rhythm. Think thinking in rhythm. Oh, it's always one below. If you missed our trivia question in the beginning, we'll repeat yep. it quick now. Yep. And now, if anybody has a spare stream deck they want to send us, it's a 124 North Chestnut Street, Boyer Town. I have it on my iPad, but the battery keeps running out. Oh, oh, that's a good reason to get it, yeah. Yeah. Read our trivia question again. So our trivia question was, what month and year did the Portuguese, Portuguese, I'm just pronouncing it again. What month and year did the Portuguese sailing ship, the Ravenskeg, arrive in Honolulu, Hawaii from Madeira, Portugal, Carry migrant farm workers and the future ukulele builders. We want the month and the year. So, what you did? Want the answer, Kelly? Are, are we giving them the answer? Kelly disappeared. I'm here. Are we giving oh, right. them the answer, or wait? Not yet. We'll wait till okay. the end. Throw the answer is throw your guesses in the one of twelve months. William, you're getting closer, but you're still. He started 2007. 1998 now December. You're okay. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> I think you have one of the numbers in there. All right. No, you have two of the numbers, the nine and the eight. So now we're going to do our summer ukulele traveling staycation tips. Coming traveling right up. with your ukulele. Yeah, so scooch over a little bit. Right. Now this we is We have our summer attire. Hold on. Oh, there you go. There we go. Wait, take this. Can you take that off there? Yeah, hold on. Yes. We're going back. This is a professional. Oh, look at this, TJ. If you had a oh, waterman, he could go in. Wait a minute, this isn't what you jump in the pool with. 
You need to oh, take that into the you pool. You need an outdoor or waterman ukulele. Waterman, yes. Yeah. Just Cannonball. <laughs> cannonball. He yelled cannonball, but you couldn't hear. Yeah, in the snorkel. He was speaking uh, snorkel ease. All right, they disappeared again. Yeah, good outdoor uke or a uke that you don't mind a beater uke to take outside. But to be honest, I take this one with me everywhere, regardless. But for the purposes of our summer trips know, and yeah. tricks, get that. <laughs> So, take the one you like to play the most with you. Just if, very good. If you're socially distancing and you're staying home, maybe in your pool, a great thing to have deck side or in the pool is an outdoor uke or a waterman. Yeah, this one you might lose if you drop it in the water. Yeah, it's you won't see it. This is this a moonshine cool. outdoor uke. So there's always a big debate between what should you get. These run around fifty dollars. The outdoors run around a hundred. 25-ish. Yep. Made in the USA. Yes. So we'll do a little sound routine. comparison there with between Ready? the two. So the Watermans, I think they, for their price, they serve a purpose. They get a Pretty bad rep because when they They're first came out, good. they did they needed to make a lot of changes and updates. Issues, so they have gotten a lot better. But if you're going for sound, definitely go with the outdoor uke. If you're going for a price, or you don't care if you lose it in the ocean, this I sounds go less plasticky <laughs> than the other one. Yeah, these are tinny. So invisible uke. Yeah. Our next tip. If you're going on a road trip. Go on the road, yes. Go that's with your car. Yeah. <laughs> and turn on your GPS. Right, William? GPS, GPS. Yeah. Or, Hello, your GPS. Or call Kelly and she'll give you directions as you're going along. And you'll get lost because I'm terrible directions. Yeah. <laughs> your, do your car tip. Oh, did I send that? Why is that still? Oh, delay, delay. What's my car tip? Your car tip. What, what? do you do with your uke if you're in the car? Don't play it behind the wheel. No, oh, no, yeah. no. You don't want to leave your uke in the car. Yeah, do not. If you, your kids, or your pet are pump, comfortable, pumpkin or, pumpkin. or your pumpkin. <laughs> if your Put pumpkin is your uke will if melt. If your kids and <laughs> pets are comfortable in the car, your uke is comfortable. Do not put it in the trunk. They will come unglued. I've heard stories of expensive Martins being left in the trunk, and they just will come unglued. Oof. Yeah, so I if always, you're comfortable, the ukulele is comfortable. I always, sometimes I'll crack the window a little bit to maybe get yeah. some airflow, or and I have a sunroof, so I always like shut the so the yeah. fabric thing to get the sun yeah. out of the top there. That helps. Take it with you in the store. Now, it might be troublesome to take it into the bank with you in a case of that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of security, if you're uh, flying this summer yes. and you're braving the airplanes with the recirculating air yeah. with COVID. Yeah, so it's recirculating. Yep. Go Does ahead. it go through a filter? I don't know. We have some tips. And most of these we have personal experience with, right? Yeah, we travel like, once in a while. Tell them your TSA story that you forgot oh, about. So I just no, yeah. <laughs> we went to the NAM show a couple of years ago and we came back with the uh, Bovida, uh, Bovida. Bovida humidifiers, the little packets. And now I got pulled aside because they had no idea what was in those. They weren't in his quart bag of liquids. Yeah. Because they're like that gel they material. Yeah. They so didn't know you, what these little pouches were. If you're traveling and you have like a gel substance for your humidifier, do not leave that in your carry-on case. Yeah. <laughs> or you will be patted down. Luckily, they didn't pat you down. But and, Yeah, I thought that was the little hercos that are the little... Uh, they're dry and hard. Yeah, they look like C4. Yeah, but the Bovitas, the Oasis ones, they all have that silicone yeah. gel. Now, this time of the year in the uh, Northeast, and especially most of the U.S., you I don't know need it's your... not... Yeah, the humidity is pretty high. But some people just keep it in there. They don't yeah. worry about it. Keep your instruments a relative humidity, humidity above 40, and they'll be fine. And then, speaking of More traveling, yes. with a lot of people worry about carrying on their uke. On an airplane, right? Yeah. So a few times I have I have just taken like the outdoor uke right in my, this is my purse when I travel. 
And I just went like this, and they didn't stop me. They didn't care that it was sticking out or anything. Yeah. It's a good time for a hard shell case. Because that way you can shove it up in the overhead bin and not worry about somebody crushing it. But I'll typically use a really good uh, padded gig bag. I use a mono this gig bag or like a transit similar bag. Similar to the transit, good. yeah. yeah. So hard he, shell case is good. The one trip you lucked out and you just, he was at the seat behind the bathroom, in front of the bathroom. Yeah. And he tucked it behind, like there was a little gap there. Yeah. And they didn't care. So didn't On the way home, I had a window seat, so I actually just sat with it. Yeah. And they didn't catch me. I didn't. <laughs> that might be bad advice, but. Or you can do like Daniel Hoeger did once. They asked him at the gate. They said they told him he's going to have to check that case. So what he did was he opened the case, took his ukulele out, and handed them the case. <laughs> <laughs> you can put I, like another good thing is uh, you can slacken the strings a little bit. You can actually it's a gives you storage space in the case for like some rolled up socks and some different yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, your carry on's getting yeah. tight. But if you, some people pack their uke inside their like check bags that they check to go underneath the airplane yeah. and they put it, you know, all their clothing around in the suitcase, that's where you'd want to like detune your strings if it's going underneath the airplane. You could be like James Hill when he came in from uh, Canada, he, he travels with a bunch of ukes, so he had this uh, custom molded gun case. And it got held up in customs in Newark. <laughs> you just had to go through it. But if you don't have a custom gun case. Yeah, for your ukuleles, <laughs> you want to be safe. So. Oh, my goodness. So is there more? Helen said she loves the red gold tone banjalele she bought at our festival yeah, last year. Nice. Thank you, Helen. Yep. I do have more, I believe. Um, oh, yeah, just a little, uh, like, public service announcement when you're out in the outdoors, whether you have an outdoor uke or a regular uke, right. you always want to wipe your sunscreen muck yeah. off your uke and wipe down your fingerboard because you you'll be all sweaty yeah. and gross getting that all over your uke. <laughs> all right. And you have to tune it a lot. I played gigs playing jazz guitar and in the wintertime they're indoor in the fall. You can, you can play all night without having to tune your instrument. But then in the summertime outside in the heat, boy, you already made it through a song before you had to retune. <laughs> That's so, probably how Hawaii came up with slack key tuning, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they just got tired of retuning it after every song and just left it the way it is. <laughs> it's not a real funny. story, though. But. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm hearing an echo of me again. You are? I don't yeah. think I have anything else Maybe on it's me. coming out of the headphones. Turn no, your headphones around. No, it is my around. headphones, yeah. All right. Up next, we've got ukulele news. Ukulele news. Oh, wait a second. We have a thing. There we go. A news... A news uh, Oh man, we keep getting what up to our news. There's, our, there's our news. <laughs> Allie, how you doing, Allie Rose? Oh, wait, we have breaking news here. If you're not you friends with me on my personal Facebook, which you're Hello. welcome to if you'd like, <laughs> Miss Allie Rose. Nah, this is my, my daughter. Baby. She asked for her first uke lesson the other day. So yeah, she did. Pop out here gave her her first uke lesson, and yep. she actually did pretty good. She wrote her own about song. 15 minutes. Yeah. Do you want to do your song? Do you remember the song you wrote? No. What was it? Old man, old man, old man. Yeah, bald boring. Man, something. Old man, old man, old man. You are boring. What is that about you? Boring. Not about me. No. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, yeah. About an old man. Oh, about an old man. So I guess man. you're not an old man. I am an old man. <laughs> All, right, All right, you can do down. your. Ready? What's that? More you, ukulele you're up news. First with your first new news. Here. Uh, we have some news here. A lot of festivals are going virtual. So we got an email the other day from uh, Kathy Fink, from uh, Kathy and Marcy. And they are the, they're the 12th annual Strathmore Youth Fest is going virtual. They're still going to do the, uh, they're still having a pretty robust program. They do have a few Good days staff. usually, right? Yeah, it's are like a four-day thing. Still virtually, it'll be four days yep, long? I guess, wow. yeah. Learning and social opportunities. They're using this program, Remo, for a few parties. I have to figure, <laughs> check that out. They're still going to host an open mic and accumulate with a big concert on Wednesday evening. I have to read this. This is funny. She has in her uh, footer here. Over, over. Uh, all the hats she wears. Today's hats from <laughs> Kathy are 66 for real. Quilter, farm owner, showrunner, half marathon runner, toonster, songster, happiness creator, 
in event instigator, oh. storyteller, social music conductor, CEO chief of everything officer, and at Gosh. Kathy and Marcy World Enterprises, including Hole Puncher, <laughs> optimist, recycler, cycler, travel agent, bookkeeper, shipping clerk, secretary, label manager, label manager artist rep, Grammy winner. They are oh. two time Grammy winners. That should be bold and bigger. Yeah, <laughs> it, was a, it was a different color, I think. Banjo player, pro bono advisor. Ooh, I have to remember that. <laughs> Satirist, content creator, dishwasher, salt lover. That's uh, not good oh, for you, Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> if you're truly 66 for real, songwriter, activist, chameleon, and hat changer. Evidently, yes, hat changer. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. Yeah, Twitter. when you're in the music business, <laughs> you pretty much wear a lot of hats. You own any business. Any you're business, yeah. Plumber. So if anybody's plumber. not familiar with Kathy and Marcy, and we're actually going to have them on as our special guest uh, the 29th. We're going to do an interview and they'll have a video for us. We'll have a song here today. We'll play for you from their new CD. Oh. Got it here somewhere. William said, uh, This is their uh, CD. Wahoo! Hey, Very William good. William said Hawaiian Airlines is pretty good about allowing ukuleles yeah, on. They should be, yeah. So they're like Kathy and Marcy, master musicians. Their career has spanned in like 35 years. I believe Marcy even had a, a artist signature Martin. The harmonies are great. Virtuosos on a bunch of different instruments. Pretty cool. So let's play something from them. Ready? This is from their new uh, CD. Got it last year at Glenn's. Uh, and it's called, uh, I'll let you understand what it is when I play it. <laughs> Triscodecophobia. I've got triscodecophobia and triscodecophobia has got me. I open doors for claustrophobia and wear glasses for myopia. But that triscodecophobia won't let me be. Oh. 
utopia in a glorious utopia if triscodecophobia sets me free if triscodecophobia sets me free So Triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> also, you want to check out that the latest ukulele magazine. Summer issue. Summer issue. Yep, summer. I was in last summer's issue. I didn't wow, interview, yeah, right? that was yep. that long ago. Wow. Uh, Cappy uh, has a uh, nice article in there. You can learn to play some Django. That's one of my favorite guitars, Django Reinhardt. Very nice. Uh, Lick, they have a video of her playing it also up her online. You can go online. Yeah. Boom, so the whole go. lesson in there, right? Yep. Uh -huh. yep. What do we have, two or three available here for sale, right? It's a they, magazine. How many do they send for sale? They, uh, they send us uh, four or five of uh, uh, magazines every every uh Every issue, every issue to have yep. for sale here. Yeah, very good magazine. So, Support them because uh, it's not a money-making proposition usually. Yeah, if you don't have publishing niche magazines. a subscription already and you don't want to run... 45 minutes away to that big bookstore we won't name. Yeah, yep. <laughs> you can stop here and pick up your issue of yeah, the right. Magazine. Uh, All right. You can get a PDF download if you subscribe oh, yeah, you online. online yeah. yeah, it's very nice. Ooh, now Jen our Brady trivia. Says hello. Yep. Wait, we still have more UQs. We do. This Sunday, we have oh, yeah, our okay. social distancing outdoor jam. Yep, experiment. Experiment, yes. So we're keeping it small with a limited number of people. At 2.30, once you RSVP at meetup.com slash funky friends, yep. we'll send you that secret location. Yep. Well, we're <laughs> following the CDC guidelines. The right? Yes, we are. Kurt and Fern especially study the CDC website a lot to figure yeah. out that we're them, running yeah. things every here at the shop, right? And yep. Listen to the scientists, not the politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Also, don't forget, we want viewer videos. We want to share yeah. the youth community. Yes. You don't need to be a professional player. Just send us your, yep. your, it could be you yourself right now doing a video. It could be an old video from a festival or a group jam you were at if you want to share. Um, you can send uh, email funkyfrets at gmail.com and then we'll send you info for a uh, how to send that yep. to us. Yep. You can just send it to World Headquarters, Watertown, PA. <laughs> That's what it says on the screen. Don't get it to the right place. <laughs> yeah, Funky Fritz TV. So now our trivia, our right? Our trivia, yes. So here's our trivia question. We knew know. it was the Rabin Skag that came from Portugal to Hawaii with the three future ukulele builders after they finished their contracted uh, working in the sugarcane fields. They quickly set up shop in Honolulu and started building ukuleles from native koa wood in Hawaii. And the year that the ship arrived was... Have feeling Williams is 1879 like right? August 23rd so it's coming up the anniversary of the 1879 ship. yep William 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 was close he was a <laughs> I think December 1998 he was he pretty, probably knew he probably and he's did, just yeah. guessing <laughs> but I feel like the yeah. 2013 oh, September, was he was getting off. close right yeah. <laughs> oh That's man cool. all right thank you all for tuning in yep. remember Another our episode. weekend workshops are on hold until fall Yep, I'm going to re-recording them. I'm learning my Final Cut Pro X to spruce polish them up, polish them up, get more out videos the out chitter, there. Chitter chatter, the audio faux pas, yep. flops. Yeah, be putting them up on my learningukulele.com, the most comprehensive ukulele site <laughs> in the world. Hashtag men. William said As he was so along. close. He was close. Right? Oh man! All right, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube. Hit the like Share, button, notification, whatever they Whatever, ring a bell, sign up, do whatever yep. you need. Pass the word. <laughs> oh, Allie wants to say goodbye. Allie's going to no. say goodbye. Oh, how about that? You don't want to say goodbye? Maybe after. Yeah. Wait, goodbye, Allie. Oh, say goodbye. Oh, See you, everybody. Say, tune in next week. Bye. Good riddance. <laughs> yep, tune in next week for As the Uke Turns. No, I think that was uh, Petey Mac. That was Petey Mac. <laughs> He's probably still doing that, is he? Is he? Yes, every day at two. Every day at two o'clock, Petey Mac out in Memphis is doing as the uke turns, and uh, I believe Victoria Vox and her husband Jack they're still doing uh, every Friday, I believe. So a lot of virtual stuff still going on out in the world. 
Put out ukulele looks small on the back wall. Yep, it's one of the little Ohana peanut ones. So, we'll see you. Thanks for tuning in. So remember, we'll have Kathy oh. and Marcy. I jump uh, back in. Oh, Joey's back. <laughs> We're still on. I'm All like right. the Zoom attendee that keeps popping in and out. Uh, <laughs> All right. Good night.